I hate being skinny. That statement never garners much sympathy, but believe me, I mean every word. I hate my wrists, my elbows, my <coughs> ribs, my neck, my butt, my thighs, my ankles, my fingers, my shoulders, my knees, my toes. They protrude through my skin like beacons that say, look at him, he looks sick. He's not like the rest of you. I know that everyone I touch or who touches me will immediately feel my skeleton sawing into their flesh. All too often, I have felt someone put their head on my shoulder, eager to fall asleep, only to squirm around trying to find a comfortable position that isn't there, finally lift their head up and turn to the other side. I've learned to cover up my bones with baggy sweatshirts and baggy pants that mask the bitter truth. And during that most wonderful time of the year, when the world ambles along in puffy jackets and sweatpants, I walk among the rest of you, safe in my lie, my arms in sleeves that could house arms twice the size of mine. It's during that dreadful transition to summer that I begin to fill with terror. As the rest of the world sheds their outer layers with joy, I continue to wrap myself in thinner jackets and quarter zips while frantically exercising and drinking protein shakes in hopes that my muscles will swell in those critical months to avoid the embarrassments of pool parties and beach days. Despite my best efforts, the results are never satisfactory, and so I spend my summer tugging on my shirt sleeves, praying the material will stretch enough to cover my elbows and thus maintain the illusion that perhaps I'm not quite as skinny as I look. My friends will tell me that the world doesn't care, and I would love to believe them, but I know that it does. I see that it does. Every time someone like Chris Hemsworth or Channing Tatum is named Sexiest Man Alive, Men whose biceps are larger than my thighs. <laughs> my friends will say that they don't care, but I hear that they do. Every time they call someone a twig, or blame their chicken arms for why they aren't good at sports, perhaps they've learned to forget that I'm as skinny as a rail, but that would be a nightmare for me. To be loved in spite of who I am? I dream of a man calling me hot or sexy and meaning it. Then I look at my ribs in the mirror and I know that would taste like a lie. This is not what sexy looks like to them. Sexy looks like pecs and abs and a bubble butt. These images circle around in my head like ghosts, haunting me, telling me I won't be loved, or worse, I shouldn't be loved. I'll slip on with my large jackets and momentarily forget who I am, seeing only the person, the man I could be. It makes me so happy. To be honest, I'd give anything to look like that, and perhaps I may still grow into that man in the future, but would I lose who I am along the way? It's funny, as much as I've railed against my stick-like figure, it has been the one constant in my life. Uh, my nose has gotten bigger, my hair has been cut shorter, my spine has elongated, but for as long as I can remember, my wrists have been bony, my fingers long and spindly, and my ribcage flush against my skin. When I grow, if I grow, Will I recognize myself, or will I miss this me? After all these years of dissatisfaction, I have weaponized my body through humor, uh, my own jokes about my body serving as armor, protecting me against the jokes and snide comments of others. Would I be able to make people laugh without this comedic backbone? These are supposedly the best years of my life, and I'm spending them in front of a mirror, probing every inch of my frame, trying to imagine a me that isn't there. That is not a life. I'm sick of being scared to wear short sleeves, sick of feeling unlovable, sick of laughing off my self-doubt. It's time to free myself from the chains I have built myself. I will put my head down and become the person I want to be while recognizing the person that I am. I will not do this to fit a mold. I will not do this to make life easier. I will not do this to satisfy others. I will do this because that is the man that that insecure boy, the big nose, and bony wrists deserved to become. And his hopes were too bright for me to give up on them after all these years. <laughs>